be seated. John Keith back there. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get some announcements out of the way real quick, and then Abigail Miller is going to minister to us in song, and then right after that, Brother Keith will come up so we don't have to have interruptions. Um, again, we are grateful to Sermon.net. Very grateful for them uh, broadcasting this on the webcast, and also... Uh, if you'd like to help out with the expenses of the conference, there's a red box back there by the table, and uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. There's been no charge for the use of the facility, just if you have a room or meals, and uh, that'd be a real blessing. And then also, uh, there's some free books back there on the table, and uh, those are for your taking. There may be someone to say something about that a little bit later on. And uh, cell phones off. And I think that's about it for tonight. Did I forget anything? Well, if you wasn't here this afternoon, I felt uh, at supper, boy, I felt like I'd just already been blessed so much, just so much this afternoon with the um, uh, prayer time we had and a couple of young men sharing and then uh, Mr. Gothard bringing a message. It's <laughs> such a blessing. I think God is going to really do something in our lives this week. Okay, Abigail, you want to share? <clears throat> Earlier, Brother Gothard was talking a little bit about Paul being the prisoner of the Lord, and it, it brought to mind this song. It comes from Zechariah 9, 11. Turn ye to the strongholds, ye prisoners of hope. And I so thank the Lord for the day that he made me his prisoner once more. to the 
cross today. Let Jesus tear your bars away. He'll lift you up and open up your eyes. Oh, he offers his love, perfect rest from above, and you'll never want to be sing another song for you. Um, the Lord has been really blessing me lately and reminding me over and over of how Satan is, is a defeated foe and also of the finished work that Christ has done for us. And um, this, the title of this song is Deliverance. The enemy had smitten me, I fell down to the ground. He told me I could not be free, he planned to keep me down. I felt the heavy burden of my guilt, the weight of shame. I cried out in despair, I only had myself to blame. But in his mercy he came, and he lifted me from shame. He wrought a great deliverance by the power defeated fool had to turn and let me go because the power of Christ rests on me oh brother are you sinking down in unbelief and sin and Satan has been telling you that he will always win. Rise up in faith, remembering your victory in Christ. He paid the price so we could walk in new abundant life. In his mercy he came and he me from shame. He wrought a great deliverance by the power of his name. And my defeated foe had to turn and let me go because the power of Christ rests on me. If we could only trust his promises, believing every word is so much greater than we know, so much greater than we see. Rise up in faith and claim your victory. In his mercy he came and he lifted me from shame. He wrought a great deliverance by the power of his name. And my defeated foe had 
to turn and let me go because the power of Christ rests on me. Your defeated foe will have to turn and let you go when the power of Christ sets you free. We started doing this in Barnstall, and Merle and I just remembered we didn't do it this afternoon with Mr. Gothard, but we would pray for each speaker, and we'd get different men at different times, and so we're going to pray for Brother Keith before he shares, and uh, then we'll turn him loose. Uh, by the way, if you've never heard uh, Keith, he's from uh, South Africa, a uh, friend of ours, and he's been touring the country many, many years, and... Uh, our family has greatly enjoyed him and, the, and his family. And by the way, um, his wife has a book of poems that uh, we have back out there. We haven't known how to do this, but if you'd like one of the poems, I think they're down at the restoration desk. And um, they're very, very good. Also, this before we pray then, if you have a, a little one that can't be quiet, then I think there's a lobby out there that uh, they could be free to make a little bit more noise in this evening. Okay, we ready? I'll pray and then Merle, you can pray. Our Father, we come to the conference as needy men and women, and boys and girls. And we thank you that you meet our needs and you've sent men of God to minister the word of God. And we look to you to use the authority of your word this evening. And Father, I pray that you would put in this place a very quiet spirit this evening to listen. And that we could hear what you have to say. And we pray that the spirit of God would uh, do such a deep work through our servant, your servant, to bring the word. And even as... Uh, little ones are here that they would hear in their spirit in the quietness and then even if they have to go out they would still reverence and feel the power of God thank you for our brother we pray for your anointing on him father in Jesus name father it humbles us to come to this moment but we thank you and Father, I believe tonight that you have a specific work you want to use this vessel to do in our midst, in our hearts and lives. And Father, I pray that um, you would give him boldness and that he would preach um, very boldly whatever you've laid on his heart, that the word of God could be sharp and powerful and penetrating, that it would go forth to accomplish that which it has been sent to do. Father, um, you have bent your bow. You have wet your sword. And we asked you, Father, that tonight you would strike away all flesh and that you would glorify the name of Jesus. Just come in your Holy Spirit on our brother and anoint him in a way that no mortal can ever do, but only your Holy Spirit, for Jesus' sake. Amen. Thank you. Psalm 73, verse 3. I was envious. I was envious at the foolish, at the foolish. 
when I saw when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Verse 17, until I went into the sanctuary, until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I the end. Then understood I their end. Job 21 verse 13. They spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. They live their lives in wealth and without any prolonged suffering or sickness, they die. They spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. Therefore, they say unto God, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty that we should serve Him? And what profit should we have that we pray unto Him? In Proverbs 30 verse 8, a godly and wise man earnestly and carefully prayed. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me lest I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. In Luke 12, verse 15, Jesus said, Take heed, take heed.